Today we start building the FA20 turbo engine and the first step called measure all variables you can't measure because when you build an engine and you pay so much money and so much time in it and you have anywhere any clearance wasn't correct and everything is broken that could be pretty expensive. Okay, let's start with the pistons that are Carrillo pistons with our special coating. This coating is for less friction and better resistance and the engine sounds much better when it's cold with this coating. So we start with checking the diameter of the, of the piston, then we check the weight, then we check the ring gap clearance and the last point is the checking the bore of the pin diameter and the pin. Okay, let's go. Pretty exactly 85.96 millimeters. with piston pin so this this step here with the piston ring gap clearance I do it later because um, I need the correct diameter of the cylinder to do it, but um, you see it in one of my another videos. I have this machine here. It is a uh, piston ring gap grinder. You can put there the piston ring and you can start it and then you can cut the piston ring pretty exactly with this uh, measurement to it. Yeah. Um, okay. And we check the diameter of this bore here. For this I have uh, this bore gauge. I really like that because it is very exactly and fast. So like this with one hand. Do it like this. Another side. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I can check the clearance of these two parts here. Feels good. But we, of course, we can measure it. Okay, good. The clearance is. 200 cell millimeter. Now we can start with the rods. You see the FA engine have a little bit different rods than the EJ engine. The EJ engine have uh, these rods here. It looks a little bit um, different because this is symmetrical and that's not. That's because you can, uh, so you can screw these bolts out in assembled engine case. You don't have to split the engine. Um, at the AEJ engine you have to take the pin out here and here you can easy screw these bolts out. Um, okay, we start now to checking the rods. Here we have the easiest first measure here to check the piston pin bore in the rods. Here we have something about 100 millimeter clearance. So the next step is to, to assemble the rod. Um, 
you have two different ways to do that. You can do it with the IRP assembly loop or you can measure it the stretch of the rod bolt. Um, when you measure it, do here a little bit of assembling loop like this here on it because when you do it dry it's not good for the thread and um, then we can weight the rod if it's a uh, correct balance. First you have to calibrate your gauge on zero. Like this. Then you can tight the rods, bolt, so now you can see with 45 um, foot lips it have only 0, 0, 4 inch stretch, that's too less. We want something about 006 inch stretch. And you see, now it is perfect. So the same I do now with the second one, and then we can check this clearance here and the diameter of the big end and we can check the weight. Okay, perfect. Now I can check the weight of these rods. Here I have so a special construction works perfect it belongs automatically and then I wait the complete and can recheck this system nice okay Next check is the uh, diameter here of these rods. Mm -hmm. The next step is to measure the big end of the crankshaft. So I know how much um, Big end clearance we have on the bearing. Mm -hmm. Okay, by this turbo engine, I would like to have an um, 
rod bearing clearance from 400 still millimeters so we need a bearing thickness from 1.48 millimeters that are king racing in standard x they are a little bit thinner than the original one and we can use them You see, the cylinder is uh, currently in stock conditions. It is never bored or honed or something like this. Um, I would like to have 700 uh, um, piston to cylinder wall clearance. And in one of the next videos, I will hone these cylinders um, on something about, I think, 86.03 millimeters and check the crankshaft here i only want to show you the original piston from an fa20 engine with an original rods i see here the rods are cracked you know what it is cracked a cracked rod is not here with the finished surface on this side wait i have here the other It is cracked from factory and that is um, very accurate and not so expensive and so very good yes okay <laughs> the battery from the camera is low so i said uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe this channel and the next videos we continue this build thank you for watching ciao